The world was once filled with some absolutely incredible creatures. Thousands of years ago, massive and strange beasts roamed the planet. There were all kinds of bizarre and amazing animals, each one looking like something torn right out of a fantasy novel. In almost every conversation, most prehistoric animal conversations today get focused on the dinosaurs. And people usually forget about all the other monstrosities that roam the Earth. While these animals are extinct now, their myths and legends live on. Welcome to Mind Read, where today we'll bring you a list of 10 animals you'll be glad to know are extinct. So, without further delay, let's get started. Number 10. Leviathan, the Whale-Eating Whale 12 million years ago, a species of whales called the Leviathan Melvelli lived off the coast of Peru. They were about as big as the modern sperm whale, with some growing 60 feet in length. But there was one big difference. They had a huge mouth of massive, tearing teeth. These gigantic whales preyed on other whales. Their mouths were something like those of modern killer whales, except that they were three times bigger with a capacity to open wider. Some of those sharp, crushing teeth in their jaws were one foot long and four inches wide, custom designed to bite into a whale's flesh and tear it off. These creatures had no natural predators, though they did share the sea with the Megalodon. Wait for this one in our top three. And the Megalodon were the largest sharks that ever lived. Instead, Liviton Melvelle would prey on giant baleen whales. The whales of prehistoric Peru had to deal with being a meal for two of the biggest, deadliest carnivores to ever swim the sea. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for all of you that'll just take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, the giant swan. Swans these days are frankly no threat to humans, but it wasn't always like this. The island of Malta was once home to some of the strangest sights in the animal kingdom. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, the island was filled with pygmy elephants that were dwarfed by massive swans. Those swans, called Cygnus falconeri, were huge. They had wings that stretched 10 feet. They were so big that they were incapable of getting themselves into the air. Instead, they fed and lived on dry land. In fact, they were bigger than the local elephants, which averaged around 31 inches tall, about the size of a greyhound dog. What a time that was. There's no evidence of this bird preying on the elephants, but it's still fascinating to imagine something as pretty as a swan could have been one of the biggest bullies of its time. Number eight, lead sickthus. The largest fish ever to live was the lead sickthus, a giant creature that once swam in the waters around Europe. We're not even sure how big it really was. Nobody's ever found a full skeleton of a lead sickthus, so we can only take our best guess. However, some of the most conservative estimates put the creature at around 56 feet long, larger than a school bus. Some wilder estimates suggest that the lead sickthus was even larger than a blue whale. The bigger than a school bus theory is more likely, but that makes the lead sickthus the biggest fish ever to swim the Earth's waters. Incidentally, dinosaurs were their natural predators. The lead sickthus lived millions of years ago, and it's believed that dinosaurs would chow down on this gigantic fish the size of a small house every now and then. Number 7. Thylacaleo Without a doubt, one of the most terrifying animals of the prehistoric world was the Thylacaleo, the mammal with the world's strongest jaws. These animals were about half the size of African lions, but they had jaws that were even stronger than those of the king of the jungle. Every inch of the Thylacaleo's skull was designed for strength, so it had a fairly tiny brain. But giving up thinking was a small sacrifice for that incredibly powerful bite. Inside their mouths, they had huge teeth that were fused together, making them work like big, long, thick cleavers that could hack into flesh. This creature's claws were just as bad. They had massive, curved claws that they could retract like a cat's to keep them razor sharp. The Thylacleo could get up on its hind feet, and use its unusually thick tail to balance itself like a tripod, freeing up its claws to hack and slash through the bellies of its prey. Number 6. Saber-Toothed Cat Mistakenly known as a saber-toothed tiger, these predators were vastly known far and wide for their curved and massive teeth. Despite officially having the cat in their name, they're not closely related to the modern animals and were in fact more agile, choosing to pounce from trees and then attacking with their almost foot-long teeth. 
Two holes in a 1.75 million year old hominid skull from the Republic of Georgia perfectly match the elongated canines of either the lion-sized Homotherium or its smaller cousin, Megantaron. Since both wounds appear to be in the brain cases back and bottom, it's likely that whichever cat was responsible pinned the victim down face up, placed its mouth over the top of the hominid's head, and buried its teeth near the spinal cord. So it's safe to say humans were pretty much on the menu for these cats. With the Smilodon being the most well-known, these mammals' vicious nature proved to be their downfall at the end of the last ice age, as most of their chosen prey had either died out or ironically been hunted by the cats themselves. Thus, the saber-toothed cat became extinct through its own means of hunting. Number 5. Thylacine Best known as the Tasmanian tiger, this is the first purely nocturnal creature to make our list. Evidence suggests that these native Australians were very shy in nature and became extinct in the mainland around 2,000 years ago, yet survived until the 1930s in Tasmania. There are even some people who think the thylacine still exists today. Their extinction was due to hunting by humans, as well as competition with other small predators, such as dingoes. It's thought that the introduction of dogs by humans, as well as human, enroachment into their habitat also contributed to their decline. While they were considered mostly shy and avoided human contact, it's widely known that these predators didn't mind having a go at the human flesh. General sightings were reported across Western Australia and Tasmania until 1980, leading to a vested interest in the species once again. In 1983, Ted Turner offered a $100,000 reward for proof that these carnivorous marsupials are still alive. While the Tasmanian tiger is still considered extinct, the reward is still out there, so everyone keep looking. Number 4. Quetzalcoatlus It's time to get back to our prehistoric birds here, and there could not be a more worthy mention than the Quetzalcoatlus. The prehistoric flying animal weighed in at about 500 pounds, meaning that serious competitive strongmen couldn't have benched it. But then again, based on the looks of it, such feats of strength would be ill-advised. A pterosaur from the late Cretaceous period, the Quetzalcoatlus is one of the largest known animals to ever take to the skies. Though early estimates give it a wingspan of over 50 feet, more conservative contemporary studies have reigned in that figure, suggesting 33 to 36 feet as a likely average. Although the species was discovered in Texas, the name actually comes from the Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl, which translates into feathered serpent. Some fun facts, these were not birds despite them obviously looking like one, but rather flying reptiles. Also, scientists think that they may have used their folded up wings as legs and walked on all fours. Number 3. European Cave Lion People tend to associate the king of the jungle as a largely African species, but this extinct Eurasian subspecies may prove otherwise. Speculated to have become extinct around 10,000 years ago, these beasts were huge, on average over 7 feet long, without the tail, and could weigh 700 pounds. The term cave in the name comes from the large number of fossils found inside caves. However, many scientists believe that these large cats didn't actually live inside caves. Rather, the caves were home to bears and acted as a hibernation point, so the lions were promptly killed inside the caves by mama bears. Their most probable habitat is believed to have been the meadows and forests where herbivores of that area would have fed. Number 2. Tyrannosaurus Rex Well, who wouldn't want a good old T-Rex to be on this list? From being the character in every kid's nightmares, to being an absolute powerhouse in its day, the T-Rex gets his well-deserved second spot on our list. Although it's no longer considered to be the world's biggest carnivore, the T-Rex remains as one of the biggest theropods and apex land predators ever. While sizes vary, the T-Rex could reach up to 40 feet in length and the height of approximately 12 feet, with the largest examples weighing in at roughly 15 tons. One of the most fearsome predators to ever live, the T-Rex also scavenged when the opportunity presented itself. Fun fact, due to its popularity, it's one of the few dinosaurs that the public refers to by its proper scientific name. Alright, so before we pull the curtains off and reveal our final nightmare from the past, let's give a round of applause to Felix Witzel from Bruges for sending in the thumbnail for this list. Felix, you have quite the eye for images. Number 1. Megalodon 
The Megalodon, which translates exactly to Big Tooth, is the largest shark to ever have lived on our planet, reaching lengths of 60 to 70 feet and an estimated maximum weight of over 60 tons. The Megalodon is the largest known predator in Earth's history. The modern sperm whale is longer for sure, but likely not as heavy as the Megalodon. To compare this size, the largest modern great white sharks max out at around 23 feet and 3.5 and tons. This makes the Megalodon nearly three times as long and 20 times as heavy as the great white shark. This gigantic shark obviously required a massive amount of food, and it's been estimated that an adult Megalodon may have had to consume over a ton of food per day to sustain itself. Fossil evidence points to the megalodon preying on whales and other large marine mammals, such as sea cows and sea lions. Many fossil whale bones have been found with clear signs of large bite marks made by teeth matching the megalodons. Other excavations have found megalodon teeth lying next to the chewed remains of whales. Some believe that this monstrosity of a shark still exists within the dark corners of our oceans. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below.